Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. FC25 is fully out today. It is global launch day, of course, and that means EA starting us off with our first promo of the year as well. Road to the knockouts. Now, EA confirmed a few things yesterday, like Jude Bellingham, his official card, which is getting a huge juice in stats. Also, the stat upgrades that all of these live road to knockout cards will be chasing. And of course, guys, it's going to be a huge day for content in SBCs, objectives, evolutions, and maybe even a new rush mode with objectives there as well. We got to get you guys ready for what a crazy Friday it's going to be on FC25. If you're excited for the promo today, drop a thumbs up on the video and subscribe if you are new. Now, before we get into today's content, let's take a look back at yesterday because it's going to help set up what is dropping on this game today. Firstly, we had one SBC yesterday and it was just marquee matchups. Guys, one thing that we learned last year in FC24 is that Thursdays are usually pretty quiet in terms of content, of course, with all the hype being on the next day. Friday, but EA did spice it up a little bit with a mistake here in the Man U vs. Tottenham SBC. It said Liverpool instead of Spurs at the beginning. There was no compensation or anything for that, but if you were on right away at content, they messed up the marquee matchups with that. And this set of marquee matchups, I did end up doing it. I packed a discard in for him. I mean, yeah, it's worth doing if you have the cards in the club, but the packs this week are really not that great. But it still is worth doing to try to get some tradable pack pulls. That was the only SBC that we had as a part of content yesterday, but we did have a couple objectives. Firstly, this early access mystery nations objective, which I can tell you guys the nations are England, Spain, Belgium. So you actually need one player from each of those three nations. Just go into a squad battles game, get it done, and you get a 5,000 coin boost, and you also get a premium gold players pack, which I opened and got nothing out of. But hey, it's a free pack for playing one game. It is worth going for. Also, I have to mention the weekly objectives are back once again for some more SP. I know some of you guys are probably grinding up, hitting level 10, 11, 12 right now, maybe even 13. I'm still at level 7, of course. I have not completed the other objectives which you can access by pl uh, pressing LT, like the club's objectives and stuff like that. That is inside of here as well. If you've missed out on some of that SP, you can grind that out this weekend. Or if you're just getting on the game, make sure you check that out there. But that was all of yesterday's content, guys, to be completely honest. Now, there was more content, however, in terms of the market, because yesterday, kind of as we hoped, the market really did well. Not everything, but a lot of stuff on the market had a lovely rise after division rivals rewards. Remember this for future week, guys. We had cards that were out of packs golds like Florian Verts. I bought this at, what did I buy him for? Like 64,000 coins for the most I paid for him. I uh, bought the Sam Kerr for 91k, the Laminia Malls for 76, and uh, I also did buy two Rafinhas, one for 49, one for 54, and then um, I bought a couple of commands as well. These are lazy selling, and I have a few more that I've invested in. So the market yesterday did really good, and this is kind of the market graph index. Of course, on a Wednesday, we had the crazy market Market drop everything dropped drop dropped into the division rival rewards time frame right when rewards came out you had a big crash and you had a really opportune time to pick stuff up but you obviously could buy cards before this as well if you pick some safe investments and then you had a really nice rise and even right now we are still above on the index where we were at that crazy low point before division rivals rewards but again like i said remember this for future weeks because what we just saw with division rivals rewards was it gives out a lot of coins right a lot of coins and not as many tradable packs bring in supply in which means in the future this is going to be something that we look forward to almost every single thursday especially in the early game is a nice market rise but for all those market prices that went up yesterday i have a message you probably want to sell before the madness that is going to take place today as you can see i am almost fully liquid with my 888,000 coins I do still have some low tier cards because as people are getting on the standard edition of the game and they don't have a lot of coins, it's actually pretty noticeable right now that some of these cheaper tier, lower tier starter team players, people are buying for their teams right now as they're getting on the game for the first time, but still sell these cards before the content drop today because it's going to get crazy. Now, let's talk about that content today. First of all, with the leaks, guys. Road to the Knockouts is here today. And EA, this is actually kind of crazy for EA. They literally put the confirmed official Jude Bellingham card on the loading screen. This is Jude's card that is going to be coming out today. 91 rated. He still has Relentless Plus. But look at this stat boost. I'm going to pull up the gold card here right beside 
so that you can kind of make the comparison, or I can, and tell you. He got plus three pace, plus two shooting, two passing, two dribbling, three defending, and two physical. Plus three pace in, like, plus twos everywhere else. That's pretty crazy. That's a really big upgrade for probably the highest rated marquee player in the promo. That's actually massive. And as we looked at with the Ali Watkins card and the Van de Beek card that are coming out today as well, that are official stats confirmed, these stats look pretty crazy, guys. Like, the boost that they're giving these cards from Jude from a 90 to a 91 with that big of a stat boost is honestly pretty nuts. So if you hit one of these cards today, you're going to be feeling good. Now, of course, how do they upgrade, right? It is confirmed from what we talked about in yesterday's video. The upgrade path is win three league matches out of the eight. Remember, with the new Champions League table format this year, it's a lot different. It's going to take longer. These rewards... Honestly, with more games, these players are going to have more chances and these clubs are going to have more chances to get these players upgrades as we go on through Champions League, Europa League, Conference League, Women's Champions League as well. It's just going to take longer. So they have to win three matches to get a plus one, score one plus goal in four different matches. That's a club requirement, not a individual player's requirement. That gives you a plus one overall and a roll plus plus. And then, of course, this is probably only going to pertain to two cards, but the top two that finish in the league, I should say two cards per competition, the top two that finish in the league will get a play style plus upgrade and a roll plus plus. That's, again, going to happen probably in January, late January, early February, potentially, when this competition will reach the end of the knockout stage. So, like we're mentioning, though, that Jude Bellingham upgrade is honestly really massive, and that's going to put a lot of hype on these cards today. I'm not expecting the pack weight to be very good. Like we've seen, guys, this is the official league team with all the players in it, with Jude Bellingham, Frimpong, Watkins, Diogo Jota is actually an SBC, but Julian Alvarez, Doku, DeMarco, Otamendi, there's some nice cards in here. You go to Europa League, you see Kuti Romero, St. Maximin, Isco, Moise Keane, and then Diani, Claudia Pina, and Bjorn for the Women's Champions League. Again, one or two of these could be objectives as well. Maybe another one could be SBCs. I wouldn't even expect to see every single one of these players released in packs today. There could be a mini release coming on Saturday or Sunday. That's a very common thing that EA like to do with promos as well. But a lot of these players should be dropping today. And again, like we saw with the Jude Bellingham, with his stat boost that he's getting, and then the other confirmed cards, like with the 87 rated Ali Watkins, plus two, but he's got like plus three or plus four shooting. Big boost there. The Donnie Van de Beek looks incredibly usable. There's going to be a lot of hype for these cards today, guys. It's going to be there. Now, the question is, A, what is the pack weight going to look like? And B, are they going to give them roll pluses, roll plus pluses? I'm really curious to see some of those upgrades, too, for the first promo of the year on these cards. So it looks good. It looks very promising with the upgrades. It's going to come down to the pack weight and some of the other minor details about these cards, but everything at face value leak wise. And then of course, what's confirmed with these cards being live honestly does look pretty exciting. Now, of course, we do have our leaked SBC player that we mentioned, but we got to talk about it again because this is probably coming today. I would be surprised if this was not today. A Liverpool player, big name, Jota SBC has to be a promo Friday SBC, right? He is, of course, leaked as the only SBC player so far. There's probably going to be more leaks, but a Premier League five-star weak foot striker. There's going to be some people that want to get this done. Personally, if these were the stats on Diogo Jota, which if we kind of compare it to his 85 rated card, a plus two would make sense. Will they give him a play style plus? I don't know. I hope they would, of course, uh, especially with Liverpool being at least one of the more favored teams in Champions League to potentially make a run, get more upgrades. Hopefully he gets a play style plus and hopefully his stats are good. But again, you imagine plus twos and threes on this card. Does that make you want to go and spend maybe a couple hundred thousand coins in terms of SBC value to get that done? We're going to have to see what EA do to make this one special because... Jota is always one of those cards, and we've been talking about this on the stream. Every time I feel like we get a Jota SBC, it's good, just not great. You know what I'm saying? So a playstyle plus, like it's a finesse or a power shot or something like that, a technical maybe, that's what's going to have to make the difference today on this Jota card. And if we take a look at his card, he does have rapid. If they were to give him rapid or quick step, of course, that's very meta at the moment with the L1 sprint boost. 
that could make this card crazy, crazy as well. He's got false nine, advanced forward, and inside forward. So take those into account, and we'll see what this SPC looks like today. Again, I'm assuming this is going to be our SPC card, because other than that, there's nobody else that is leaked. But I would mention as well, like we looked at that whole list of players, probably one or more of those could be an additional SPC player coming during the weekend, or an objective player that we would see today. Actually, let's take a fun guess. Who's going to be our objective player today from this leaked list? I'm going to say... It's going to be a Champions League player. I'm going to say, um, let's go with Ben Taleb. Ben Taleb is an objective type of player, in my opinion. So that's my guess. We'll have one of these players today in objectives and maybe two. Like, we could have multiple in here. We'll have to see what EA do with that. We had a lot of objectives, of course, during the early access period. That's something we'll be on the lookout for. But, of course, when it comes to Friday content, we're going to be looking for evolutions as well. Now, I don't think EA is going to allow us to evolve somebody to make it a live card and to be a road to the knockouts a live item i doubt that that's not going to happen right but they could give us a new evolution today maybe that center attacking mid cam evo that has been leaked that javi simons fits pedro gonsalves fits and some other really good players even some of the um, recently released informs could potentially fit into that that's the only leaked evo that we have circulating right now but i would be very certain that we would get some sort of evolution content today as well as well as guys we got to talk about rush I mean, obviously, Rush has come onto the scene is probably the most fun mode out there. And actually, just in a couple of hours, you can see here the season ends and we will be getting a new Rush mode. And as of right now, all we still have since the other slow it down one expired, all we have is the welcome to Rush mode. And a lot of people have been asking for something different so they can use evolution cards in this. Because right now, max 79, a lot of our evolution cards are above that. And you can't actually get progress for upgrading those cards in this rush event but of course that means that the objectives are going to reset as well since this is the second week of rush really really curious to see what that is going to look like and i don't even know where the where it went it, it's like hiding for me now seasonal ultimate team objectives yeah the rush objectives are like even hiding for me inside of this objective section i don't know that's really weird anyways um we're just looking for a new rush mode today and maybe since the counter counts down to fridays that'll be when we see it maybe it's an early content drop according to like that rush countdown that we saw right there that would actually put the timer at like 4 a.m eastern time and that would be also around what would that be 9 a.m uk so i guess watch whatever time zone that is for you watch and see if we get new rush content then if it allows tradable cards that could impact the market. Now, today with Road to the Knockouts as well, with all of these cards coming into packs, I want to talk about store packs, and I want to talk about the market and the impact on all of the packs that EA is going to put out there for people to open today in the store, how it's going to impact the market. Guys, last year, there was a lot of store packs, and I know we've had some already. We've got the 25s, the 45Ks that are tradable, and we have these starter packs that are 70,000 coins, 40,000 coins, and 150K. All of these packs expire at the content drop today there's going to be new packs released and there's going to be big ones as we looked at in yesterday's video there are a whole bunch of packs that, that have been added to the code some of them are crazy ish and then some of them are like just really pretty mid i'm trying to find a tweet that put sheriff put out about all the packs that were added to the code there's some ones that almost sound like there could be a road to the knockout guarantee and there's some other ones that sound like a mini energizer pack like the 10 coin pack a lot of people think that's just a one player pack that could be dropped today as well there's going to be a lot of action here in the store and all i know is this ea is going to get a lot of people to spend money on this game and that is going to mean that prices are going to drop as a lot of these packs will be opened in the store probably a lot of them tradable as well especially in the early game you would think people would be spending money on the tradable packs so that they could get coins to go and buy all the other players that they want to buy there's a huge emphasis on just tradable market coins acquiring that value in the early stage of the game i am saying guys again i would sell just about everything N not everything everything but a lot of things guys i would sell before the content today even if you have an out of packs gold card like florian verts did you guys remember what happened to the out of packs gold cards like florian verts who went up on wednesday before he went out of packs people invested for that thought he was going to go out of packs and keep rising what happened after that he dropped what happened after that he went up after the rivals rewards and had a big opportunity to spike same thing with the rafinha as well and uh even the luis diaz those cards went out of packs for team of the week they went up right before they went out of packs 
Then they went down afterwards. I could even see Jude Bellingham today. And I know I like this Jude Bellingham as an investment. I do. He is up, right? He's 390. He was 350. He's up like 30,000 coins a card, 40,000 coins. I could see him even dropping a little bit after content with the craziness of everything today. And then another opportunity to invest there before hopefully he goes up and a lot of other cards go up a little bit later. So that's the current situation that I would tell you guys to be watching for on the market, I would just be very careful holding anything after content, unless it's maybe like an icon or a hero, but today could bring opportunities with that supply to get really good prices later in the evening for your team. I think a lot of people are looking forward to buying teams tonight, especially on that middle to high tier. And I think that's a pretty good idea, especially if it's somebody that you think a lot of people can't afford right now. If it's a 300,000 coin card like Hyun Min Sun, maybe it is an icon, maybe it's a hero. Those are going to be the cards that I think do the best today in terms of price, even with the supply. They're going to drop a little bit, but then hopefully they can go up a good amount after that. As people start building teams, they spend the money, they get the coins, and then of course they go and start to build teams. I think if we stay ahead of the curve there, what we need to watch for today is just the supply because if you remember actually last year let me just use the example here of griezmann he's 103,000 coins right now griezmann last year was a very meta card like he is this year he went up a lot just like we saw in the first week of early access dropped towards the full release and actually hit his lowest point on saturday he actually hit his lowest point on saturday before rebounding up into the next week again i would not be surprised if that sort of same thing happens this weekend if the lowest point for a lot of these cards that we are watching and are really wanting to buy again is late tonight on Friday or maybe even tomorrow on Saturday, depending on the content that comes out. I think this is the next window tonight and tomorrow, the window to buy some of those top tier best players for teams, especially those that people will still continue to upgrade to. Now, for those that are already in your team, maybe a Doku, maybe a Yorente, maybe a Kamavinga, a Dalo, who's obviously usable in Evos, but low rated, those cards I'd be very, very careful with. They're going to get supplied, they're going to get packed a lot, and they're going to drop. The safest stuff is going to be the icons, the heroes, and I have to give a shout out to the team of the week one, because yeah, these cards have dropped a lot, and they are very low, but they're out of packs, and they're not getting any more supply today. This would be one of your favorite places to look if there's panic on the market today i like trinity radman uh, really well i like messi lamina mall gabrielle and usman dembele and also adiemi because those are cards that have shown and proven to have demand and people who are going to be getting on the game and getting more coins are going to want to buy some of those players so i expect drops on anything that is in packs and i think if you have your coins ready to go for that you're going to be in the best position possible to have a really profitable weekend maybe try a card out or two build a team buy a team if you want and then hopefully like we looked at with that griezmann graph last year we have a nice appreciation in price into this next week i think we have to have a little bit of patience with it today though because it may not be an early buy time i think we might have to wait a little bit later into the evening because one thing i want to mention is last year we were all ready to buy cards one hour two hours after content we saw prices go down some prices even started to go back up and then ea dropped tradable 50k packs in the store two hours after content last year making prices plummet even further into the nighttime that created the low point and then we started to see a few things go up into saturday and then of course on sundays last year is when we saw those big reward uh, or big price spikes so that's just kind of looking at last year comparing it to this year i think this year the pack weight on all cards seems to be better which makes me even a little more worried today for the market i'm going to be quick flipping maybe trading some of the new cards with icons heroes involved in that too and probably staying away from too many golds unless it's kind of like lazy selling like i've been doing here with some of these lower price cards that are still going to be in demand as people buy teams but i'm going to be very very careful with that today i'm also just very excited to see the cards that get dropped the ratings that they have and of course these are live cards again guys don't forget these cards will upgrade they'll have potential to get boosts in stats i don't know when the next champions league games are but i would imagine they're pretty soon do we have champions league next week uh the beginning of october october 1st and 2nd we do. We have we have Champions League this next upcoming week, the beginning of October, and that means these cards are going to be in the limelight with potential upgrades on the line. Um, of course, for teams that are going to be scoring one plus goal, and then of course teams going for their second win, like a lot of teams 
have already got a win, like Bayern. I know Celtic won their first game. I was looking at the uh, the table the other day. So a lot to watch for with these cards. are going to be moving. They're going to be fun to follow. And, of course, the market in a continents game is going to be crazy. So we're going to be streaming it all today on Twitch. If you want to watch that, check down below in the comments. That link is there. We'll be watching the market, buying cards, selling cards, and, of course, interacting with the SBCs, maybe trying to do a pack or two. We have our 77 doubles that we be able to open today. Don't sleep on regular gold upgrades as well. Those are pretty good. Um, the 82 plus triple, I wish that was going to come back, but that unfortunately is not going to be out. So I didn't save any packs for today, but uh, we'll find some way to get a few packs here or there. But that's the video for today, guys. If you did enjoy, drop a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions. And of course, subscribe if you're new. Happy FC25 full launch day. Everybody's on the game now. It's about to kick off with Road to the Knockouts. Again, guys, appreciate you. Thanks for watching the video. Have a great Friday. Have a great weekend. I'll see you guys on the stream today. It's been Nathan for the Count. Catch you there. Peace. Out. Just keep